It's Hull from Dale Park here in Motherwell. I'm here for a, a match day vlog with a difference as the Scottish Amateur Select versus East Stirlingshire. Just a friendly game, but it's really interesting information about the Scottish Amateur Select. Hi, I'm David Ramage. I'm Chairman of the International Committee of the Scottish Amateur FA. Um, we appoint a manager and coach and he appoints a coaching team to select the best of the players for the Scottish Amateurs, which can be a difficult job because be. th th there's a lot of them about. So it's a, it's a hard task for them. Uh, and our aim is uh, we play uh, Leinster in the Republic of Ireland oh, yeah. uh, every year and we play the Northern AFA in Northern Ireland right. every year and we switch about. So this in following year in March, we're going to, uh, sorry, in April, beginning of April, we're going across to Leinster to play them. Uh, we beat them last season and uh, Northern AFA are coming across to play in Scotland in, yeah. in May. Uh, they beat us last year across there, yeah. so that's that's the setup. And uh, so it is a difficult task for the manager to, he scouts, you know, he gets recommendations for players yeah. uh, from clubs, clubs. etc. Players, he goes and has a look at them, asks them to come along to training, and he's got to swirl it down to 18, say, yeah. but for the internationals. Not a lot of people like myself, I go and watch amateur games in East because right. I'm from I'm from Edinburgh as well. Right. So I go and watch them and I can sometimes recommend players to call in and it's that spread right straight throughout the land, if you like, you know. Right. Yeah. And you played soccer, I believe, as well, wasn't it? Played soccer last Tumacher. month. Yeah. I played soccer last month. Um so we got beat by them two one. Yeah. Um had a bad start to the game. And then this is the last uh, game before the break. Right. For the Christmas New Year break, but when we get back in January and February, we'll have games in January, February, mm -hmm. and March leading up to the international. And as much as I do these games, it's just to get the players together, get sort of yeah, get uh, them to know each other, know get, each them, other, to, get yeah. them to play with one another, yeah. etc. But they've got a good team spirit. Colin, yeah. the manager, has got installed a great team spirit in them, so it's uh, it's almost like a club side to be honest with yeah. you. Know. Yeah. That's good. I'm told these pitches here, a uh, motherwell train here, is all part of the, well, it used to be Dale High School, but it's uh, Dale Trust. And there's uh, pitches about there. I think it's an Astro down there. There's even a rugby club here. And, and this has got running track, etc. Um, but it's all part of uh, Adele Dial Trust or whatever. And uh, as I say, it looks in good condition. I can see why Mother will be trained here. Does this uh, give you a chance to sort of play new players? or Because uh, it is a friendly, eh? Just... Yeah, we've, we've taken a couple of friendlies over the last few weeks. Um, we're looking at a different way of setting up in terms of uh, our shape. Um, obviously, some of the boys haven't played as many games or as many minutes lately, so that gives them an opportunity to come in and play some minutes. Um, so, utilising some of the squad, we've had some injuries, so some boys come back from fitness, gives us yeah. a good opportunity. But the uh, opposition tonight will be strong. Yeah. But we believe they'll be stronger. I know a couple of coaching staff, so we took the game on. They'd ask to take the game on, and the surface, as you can see, is excellent tonight. It's a nice night for football, so yeah, our boys are looking forward to it. That's right, and it is a good opportunity to play a good sport uh, are, are the best amateurs uh, in, in Scotland, don't yeah, they? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So, so yeah, we know that the opposition will be give us a good test tonight. Um, and, it, and it was, say, we've, we're experimenting with a few things within the team and within this, uh, the, the kind of system that we're playing tonight. So, it'll be a good exercise for us, and I'm sure uh, both sets of players will enjoy it. Okay, thanks very much. Good evening, I'm Stephen Reynolds, Assistant Manager of Scotland Amateurs. Right, so uh, how um, difficult is it to, to bring these two players together because there's a lot of amateur teams, is eh? there? There is a lot of amateur teams, but myself and the coaching staff go out to as many games as we possibly can on Saturday afternoons, going and watching games, uh, seeing players that are recommended to us as well. So coaches, managers, etc. will recommend players to us and we go and have a look at them and, and see what they're like. Competitions obviously they do well uh, and you can see the teams that are doing well in the leagues as well. So you can go and look at them because generally they'll have better teams playing in their, playing their teams. It's great to get uh, playing against uh, teams like uh, East Stirlingshire. Absolutely, I mean, without those teams, I mean, these games are all about us building towards internationals next year. So, uh, we're really thankful for teams like East Stirling and um, playing against us and getting the opportunity to test our boys against really, really good teams. And um, we'll see what we're up against next year. Thank you very much. Kick off there, I've just missed it there, speaking away to the, the guys. Um, there we go. Of course, the Scottish uh, amateur selector in the uh, all blue. A new Stirling chair, that'll be in a waste up there, I've not seen that one before. Hey, 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 hey,
Times we, uh, he have been offside there, they're fast, uh, but it's a good test for the uh, Scotland amateur team because uh, we still like Shire low the league, of course. That's a corner. That's the first corner of the game, I think. And it's uh, to Scotland select. Oh, there's a chance. Oh, a good save for the goalie there. There's a chance here. Oh, another good save for the goalie. That's the second corner to Scotland Select here. Oh, no. Oh, no. This will win anyway, but the goalie got it. Oh, there's a fair one. Pay for a handball as well, but that's uh, East Lancaster's first corner. No. <laughs> no I think that's a bit of first corner for the Scotland Select. Jack. Hey! Oh, 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 o
Ein Griff vor ein. Oh, yes, well, there's half time there, and it's said no scoring, but it's been a good game. No scoring, but it's been an entertaining game. It's been an entertaining game, two good teams, uh, playing a lot of good football. Uh, not much between the two teams, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, Keep it up, East Dodge has a couple of good saves. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, nah, it's been pretty decent, aye. Good standard of football. And you're here watching anybody in particular? Uh, my son plays for Scotland, uh, Ryan, who's uh, left back. Great. Uh, he's had a couple of good chances, he's played well, had a good uh, shot there, with a good save with the keeper, just near the half, yeah. half time there. Good. But, aye, it's been really good, interesting. Uh, uh, so what team does he play for? He plays for the uh, St Pat's FPs from the bottom. Uh, uh, the Foster, Foster Centre Scottish League. Ah, very good. Oh. Uh, that's actually sitting top of the centre. Uh, yeah. Foster Centre Scottish at the moment. So it's good that they're up against uh, teams like yeah. East Stirling, uh, obviously for the Lowland League. Lowland League, yeah. So it's a higher standard they're up against. Obviously they're only amateur boys as well. No, so. and, and they're competing well, I think, you know. I know, yeah. they're up against it. You would like to think against a team like that, but they seem to be holding their own. Yeah. Uh, so it's interesting, so why it's what they play for for the second half. Okay. Thank you very much, Jenny. No worries. Well, that's what really for the second half. I'm forgetting that you don't have the full 50 minute uh, break. <laughs> so. Uh, Aye. <laughs> just a, a quick in, interview with Jerry there and uh, we're on the second half. Oh, 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 God, he's a corner. So it's first corner and a half to Scotland Amateur Select. All right, Liam. That's a wee. Go on, right. All the way, all the way, all the way. Oh, I'm lucky. Are you going yourself? Yourself! Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, 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 Get fucking tight! Oh, well, that was good, bro. Oh, nah, couldn't get the pass over. Oh, it's so good, bro. Oh, it's so good, bro. Didn't really trouble the goal, though, but yeah. What chances in the start of the half here? Another corner to East Stirlingshire here. That's the second one and a half. Oh, right to the goal. Oh, oh another corner. Well done, Ryan. There's another corner for the Scotland Amateur Select. If we get this one in target this time, there we go. Good one! 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 Good one!
Get on, get on. 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 Get on again, get on again, get on again. Oh, you ball, yeah, huh? Nice. 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 Oh, that was close. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, oh, no, save the goal. 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 Save the Oh, chance here. Oh. Good ball. Oh. Good ball. 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 Good To the soldier, what a goal that was as well. Well, there's full time. I'll have to ask, I'll have to ask the dad to the goal scorer. <laughs> oh, that was a good game. There's only one goal in it, but what a cracking goal it was, eh? No, it was a great goal. I mean, Liam took it really well on his left foot, and she would probably say he was his weaker foot, but he struck it really, really well. And I think the goal has been taken by surprise with it. And yeah. He stepped to his left and went to his right hand side. But no, great, great strike with five to go. And how do you think your players performed then? They've done very well. I mean, remember that's a kind of step up for the boys uh, playing against a Wollong League team. So yeah. they competed really, really well and showed that they are a good, good bunch of boys, good players. So no, I think they've done really well tonight. And what's the next thing? Is it a rest? And so it's game? a rest now. Yep. Yeah. So nothing through December, um, and then we'll get the boys back in for a session in January, um, and then we'll go to another session in February. The game on the back of that. Uh, building up to the internationals in April and May. Yeah, and you can follow your progress on the Twitter, eh? That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. So you'll get it on there, you'll get it on X as it's called, and I think there's a Facebook page as well, so yeah. you can follow progress there. Very good. Well, thanks very much. No problem, no. Thanks very much. Uh, I think, to be fair to them, I thought they were they were really good there. Eh? We knew we were coming, we had a game on Saturday, so changing a few boys and yeah. uh, just resting up and giving boys minutes, I think. But to be fair, I thought they were really, really good. We created chances, but couldn't find the back of the net. And if we're honest with ourselves, they probably deserve to win. Yeah, I think, they, so. yeah your goal had a few good saves as well, so he, he did keep you in the game. Yeah. yeah but he couldn't just stop that screamer, though. Eh? No, that no, it was a good finish for the boy, to be yeah. fair. I think we could probably get out to it quicker, but no, like I say, taking that away from them, I thought they were really good tonight. And, so how are you enjoying yourself? Uh, you're still in shows. I think the last time, I right in saying the last time I saw you was at East of Scotland League. Aye, I was at the Swiss last season. Uh, I'd been there four or five years. I was really enjoying it there and then just I got a chance to come here and I just thought I'd take it and 
look, start, we've probably not started as well as we want to be. I think we know ourselves that we've probably not been good enough this season and like the table doesn't lie and we're sitting quite near the bottom. But no, I've been really enjoying it since I've came in. I, but, I mean, it's a tough league though, and league, but it's a step up for you. So, you know, it, it's a good challenge, isn't it? Aye, I mean, you've got to be at it every week or you come away with nothing. And I think this season we've probably found ourselves playing well in games, but just coming away and a lot of one goal swings were just on the wrong end of them. So I, it's been disappointing in our league form, but we are working as hard as we can to, to sort it. So. Well, we're great seeing you tonight. Thanks very much. Yeah, so I didn't see the game, but it was a cracking goal, by the way. Thanks very much. I know I met with Peg, so I'm not used to hitting. Uh, she wants my left foot, but uh, I think they made a good account of ourselves, aye. Um, manager Collins obviously brought a few uh, new boys in, so we've only had maybe two or three sessions together, so I think uh, against a, a good opponent in East London. Uh, playing in the Holland League, obviously training all, all the time again, playing games in the week, so but, uh, the Scotland boys still playing today, yeah. Yeah, and I thought um, they still should go with a, a, lot, a few good teams as well, so, you know, uh, it had to be a good goal to beat them, you know, but uh, there, was a lot of there was a lot of chances, although there was only one goal in it. Yeah. Uh, it was a good game, good competitive game. Definitely, uh, high tempo, a lot of boys are higher legs on the other house, so um, I think we stuck to our shape well. We still found it quite hard to, to break us down. We went over that on Sunday at training, and I think we'd, well, as you've seen yourself, um, had quite a few chances. We maybe just had cutting edge in the box, and we got a quality of it, maybe get one or two of it. They had chances as well, but um, aye, it's just on the night, we don't sleep to my top. Yes, it's in part, it's in Dumbarton this year, yeah? Yeah, Dumbarton team, yeah. And now there's a couple of players from another from St. Pat's. Uh, we've got three, three of the boys around. One of the boys was working tonight, so I couldn't make it. It was myself and uh, Ryan McCall playing. So, good account for the pub. Um, ex pupils and stuff that went to St. Patrick's High School. And, um, obviously, taught the league around, so I think we've got five games to go in the league. Still in the West and another few cups. So, play um, Castle Hawk, get that league decider this weekend. So, right. hopefully, we'll come out on top. We'll see what happens. What is the sports side sort of role in the club? Uh, well, this one, so, uh, so uh, we've got GPS, so my uh, position is to deal with that. We've heard uh, together back to manager, coach and staff, saying that this player's come this very distance, we can recommend mid play minutes, um, train, drills, etc. Based off that, as well as taking warm ups, uh, recovery sessions, all that for fine stuff with the players as much as I can. So it was an interesting game because it, uh, I'm sure it was a good workout for the East Stirlingshire because it was a, a good amateur side you were playing. Yeah, yeah, it was a, a different test of what we were used to. Um, it was good to get the boys on the pitch and be playing as much, try different formations, try boys in different positions. So overall it's good for the boys to get more minutes on the pitch rather than just in an auction session. Thanks for that. Okay, thank you very much. Well, that was fascinating. Uh, I don't know a lot about the amateur footballers, a lot of clubs I hadn't heard of. I did know about Cooper Hart, who won the Scottish Amateur Cup last season, and Tallcross Thistle, who won it the previous year. I also covered Tallcross Thistle against Craig Royston. Um, it was Craig Royston versus Tallcross Thistle earlier on in the season. So I do cover some amateur games. Uh, the other team was uh, Sandys, who I think were over in Fife. So there are a few teams I knew, but there's an awful lot of teams I don't know anything about. So uh, as well as well, they're going over to Ireland, aren't they? But also the Northern Irish Amateur FA will be coming over next year. It's uh, fascinating. So, I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to cover the game, uh, but it's something I'll look out for. And also some of the friends that they'll be arranging uh, uh, for the build-up for these games. If you like what I do, and you, you know, please support me uh, by liking, sharing and subscribing to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. And until next time, I'll see you behind the goals.